Hi everyone, welcome to my very first Biotope vlog. My name's Chris Inglesu from CE Fish Essentials and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who are here viewing for the very first time. I'm going to be talking to you over a series of videos about biotopes, biotope aquariums, uh, natural freshwater habitats in the wild, the species that live there, uh, whether that be fishes, um, subaquatic plants, terrestrial plants, trees, marginal planting or riparian vegetation. I'm going to be going deep into what it is to be a biotope and everything that comes along with that. Um, now that being said, this very first video is one where I'm going to talk a little bit about my approach to biotoping and why I think it's important to not only look at the biotope but to look a little wider at something called the biokinosis. Now first thing you're going to ask me is what is a biokinosis? Now essentially it's a biotic community or an ecological community, an assemblage of life, so to speak. Um, some people also refer to it as a biological community. It is essentially a group of organisms that coexist in a biotope. All right, so now that immediately brings confusion. So if a biotope doesn't include the fish, then what is a biotope? Okay. So in an ecosystem, there are two main elements that we uh, consider and combine to make what we call an ecosystem. So first of all, we have the biotope or some people could say habitat now the difference between those two words uh, is a subject of debate which I am eager to get onto in my next video so please do tune into that however where we are now the biotope is essentially what is known as the abiotic elements of an ecosystem meaning that it is the non-living elements so that could be water uh, another topic of debate for some people um, it could be uh, wood rocks substrate you know all of the different um, elements of a, an ecosystem that are not living um, and then you have the biotic elements so earlier on I said a biotic community um, this is also known as a biokinosis and we refer to it in this context because a biokinosis or, or a living biological community of organisms, different organisms, um, or sometimes the same species. If you have a, a biotope where only one thing exists, however, usually if you dig a bit deeper, you can always find some other accompanying living organism alongside another one. Um, we, we piece these two things together and we form what is known as an ecosystem. Now, now, these two terms come together because usually one biokinosis or biological community is associated with a particular biotope. Okay, now this is where the term biotope aquarium came from. However, because the history of aquariums, especially after the huge explosion of aquascaping came about, which was highly focused on the abiotic elements um, as well as the plants, which is uh, one aspect of a living uh, community. Um, as that uh, craze kind of erupted a few decades back now, um, everything was very focused on the decor, the decorations, essentially the, the non-living environment, plus adding in the plants. And there wasn't much um, earlier on in that 
time there wasn't much consideration as to the natural origin of those species and if they live together and all of these types of things later on as biotoping became more popular um, we started to see people more conscious about putting species together and uh, really trying to match the biotopes with their uh, biokinosis and form what we call biotope aquariums today but which i would arguably say should be called ecosystem aquariums now i think we all know that that isn't going to um the the naming of biotope aquariums is not going to change anytime soon that would be a mammoth task but we can apply an ecosystem approach into our biotoping um and i i i feel that if you if you don't use an ecosystem approach eg including the biokinosis um, and all of the considerations which which is typical really it's common sense um, then you're really just looking at it from a decor decorative perhaps artistic perspective and so it's um, it's less so about welfare of the creatures that you're trying to house and more so about making a, a beautiful habitat um, uh, so that, that's an interesting discussion and actually that could be the subject of another video later on where we talk about um, the artistic versus the ethical side of um, biotoping and aquascaping and, and the, the area the margin where those two things merge and perhaps how we could um, find a nice happy medium um, or, or combine both of those things which would be ideal anyway so very simply I'm not going to make this the longest discussion in the world but very very simply a biokinosis is part of an ecosystem and in combination with their biotope forms said ecosystem take that away with you apply the ecosystem philosophy to your biotoping from not only the beautiful decorative artistic perspective but also from the welfare ethical um, enrichment aspect of fish keeping trying to create beautiful happy homes for your biokinosis a beautiful biotope for the biokinosis and see if your results improve in your fish keeping, in your biotoping. All right, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your stories of this. Have you taken time to really do your research on these species and make small microhabitats inside their biotope aquariums? And have you noticed changes in their behaviors that you realized were beneficial to those species and, and fundamental to their happiness? Uh, let me know. I'd be really, really interested to hear about it. All right. Thank you for tuning into this first very short episode. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.